The next step in the process is forming, actually forming the tube. We want that opening to become perfectly round in the back. We want it to be about the shape of a football at the second wire and about the shape of an ellipse inside at the first wire. In order to do that, we use a mandrel that has that general shape to it. The combination of the scores that we've put in here and the fact that we're going to heat this mandrel <clears throat> so that the steam and the scores together will control the cracking. Steam it. We steam the cane. It's vegetable material. It relaxes around the mandrel and then we control the cracking by tightening the first wire immediately. That's what keeps the cracking from going up. It has to crack. It can't go from this little gentle arc to round without cracking. So, the first thing we do is heat our mandrel. Fire! Seven seconds. Then we take the little wired up cocoon we make sure that the top wire is on top, and we go straight in, ah, steam. Then, looking at it from this angle and being careful not to burn ourselves, we wiggle that on until it's just past the stopping mark, and then tighten the first wire. So you pull and twist, pull and twist. You want to be careful here to get it tight enough but not too tight. Then we start forming the tube around the mandrel. So flat, flip it over, flat, and then side to side. While you're doing this you always want to be looking to make sure that this side seam maintains a side slip in the same direction. So that side seam is gorgeous. And we flip it over and look mm. to make sure that that one is also... Oh, I stuck my finger in the way. That's bad. We have to start from the beginning now. Oh no! no I no, think no. we're okay. Okay. So that's what we do there. And then we move the second wire down to the second wire mark. Those of us with strong enough fingernails do it this way. And that goes right on the second wire mark. The first wire is slightly under the first wire mark. The second wire is just on top of it. And again, you pull, and then you take up the play that you've left. So once you make that first pull, you don't, there's not going to be a lot more tension that you need to get it if you've, if you've done that enough. So that's how it looks so far. At this point, you're no longer going to burn yourself. So, <laughs> okay, then we come around and round more underneath that second wire. And then we put the bottom wire on. The bottom wire we do, we want the twist to come on the same side as the top wire. So this one's easy. We just flip it over so that the second wire twist is up. And we just set the wire right, um, in the, we set the, the reed right in the middle of the wire, fold that around. Now it's just round, still right over left. Find the bottom wire mark. And we do the same thing down here. Pull, twist. The bottom wire wants to be the tightest. You always want to pull and take up the play that you have created. Now is that what it wants or what you want for it? We don't care what it wants. We are not concerned with what it wants. Okay, And then underneath, this is the one time where you take your pliers and really just go all the way around. <laughs> Oops. Okay, then once that's done, you want to look at this.
this and see whether that looks like it's enough of an ellipse or if it's too flat. Almost always it's the tiniest bit too flat. In which case, you take your pliers at the round and just give it a little bit of a nudge there. Just the tiny bit. And that's all there is to that. Okay? Then, with the flat jaws of the plier, you release it from the mandrel. Not by twisting the mandrel all the way around. Just back and forth and then pull it off as straight as you can. And there oh, you have it. Gorgeous. So there's it's completely sealed. It's round here, football shaped here, and it's an ellipse here as you look down the tube. Oh. Oops. Okay. Round football ellipse. And you put it on the drying rack. So let's do this process one more time. We heat the mandrel. It's Come always on, baby, good to bring Twizzlers to the movies. <laughs> then... <laughs> oh, my bad. Movies over here. Okay. So the top wire facing you, which is also going to be where the wire marks are, flat... We have the steam, which you can hear it actually doing it in addition to the Colvin sound effects guy. I don't know what you're and then about. immediately, see this crack here? We don't want it to go up into the blade, so we prevent that by tightening the first wire. You want to make sure that that wire is tight, but you don't want it to bite into the cane. As soon as you've done that, then you come down underneath, and it is doing its job steaming. If it's still making that noise, make sure you don't put your finger on it, because <laughs> it will steam you as well. Look at the seam all the way down from the side slip. Okay, then we pull the second wire into position right on its mark. While you're doing this, one of the things that you want to make sure is that the wires are perpendicular to the tip of the reed. Okay, so the way I'm holding it right now is not the way you're going to hold it because you're going to be looking at it. Watch then that you don't over twist. Look at the action of the twist. So it looks like I'm going all the way around but I've let it go before I've come all the way around with the twist. So that twist, there's a, an amount of tension that you put in the twist if you're over twisting. This is what the twist should look like at this point. Then under the second wire, again, we round that very firmly. And then we take a third wire. Second wire facing up. Read in the middle of the wire. Wrap it around with the right side on top, the left side on the bottom. Pull that round to the front. Secure it pull it down to its wire mark. If there's play, like right there, then just minimize that. Pull it together with your thumbnail. And if you need to do that with the pliers as well. Okay, so what I'm doing now is looking at this to make sure that everything stays perpendicular. The wires stay perpendicular to the blade. Tighten it. Kira, could you get the drying rack, please? Don't do it. That's a trick. Okay, then underneath the third wire, we crimp to make sure that there aren't any leaks. 
with the flat of the pliers? Well, no. First we're going to look here and see that it's not quite open enough right here. So we take our pliers, the round part of the plier, the hole, and just open that a little bit like that. Then we're done. And loosen it. And we're off. Oh yeah, look at that. Okay. Then when you're done forming them, they need to go on the drying rack so that the inside continues to conform to that shape. them down as hard as you can and there we have it. Now we are formed. Thank you and good night.